a team roster page in our team hub in both Confluence and Coda to show who are all the people on your on the team, what their job titles are, their location, and basically give anyone that comes to our team hub an idea of who is doing what on the team and how you can find them. So we'll start it within Confluence. We'll create another page and we're going to call this page just our team. And so let's close out this templates thing, sidebar. Let's call this team. And we'll add a nice emoji. Let's just look, use this one right here. So we have people representing our team. And the easiest way I would say to create a team roster list is to create a table in Confluence. You can just do that by writing table, insert a table, and you get a really basic table and you can start putting things like name, photo, role. If I want to add more columns here, let's go here. Oh, let's plus and then plus. And we're going to say bio location. And I'm just going to copy and paste some information here from another table I have in Confluence. And you can upload images, represent photos. So I have like a list of my team roster in Confluence and the it's, it works okay. I hit publish, and then when I publish this page, let's take a look at this. Let's try to give a, a much expanded view. You can see here it just shows the exact same table I just created in the edit mode of Confluence. Now, let's take a look at different ways that we could make this a little more um, automated or scalable. The tricky thing here is that this table in Confluence you can't really do a whole lot of in terms of filtering or sorting. You can sort by different columns by just doing clicking on this like little arrow icon. But let's say I want to filter to only show my team members in San Francisco or New York City. You can't really filter uh, the tables easily in in Confluence. Now there are I did look for kind of ways you can sort a table in different modes in Confluence. Currently, you can't sort while in edit mode. So while I'm editing this table, or editing this page rather, you can't actually sort this. So this makes it tricky because if you want to, if multiple multiple people want to edit this table, they have to click on the edit pencil icon, and no one else can be editing the table, and they can update their you know location to um, something else, and then hit publish. But let's say you have a list of 10 or 15 or 50 people, you can't sort this table to figure out like who's doing what or basically it's kind of like a very simple basic table. Um, then you can read this community support uh, thread about why there's, I guess there's workarounds for sorting in a table item mode, but um, there's no current native way to do it. In terms of filtering, you, there's also a way you can filter tables, but it requires adding in this table filter and charts for confluence add-on. I think you have to pay for it, but it's from a third party, but it allows you to filter stuff um, in Confluence because there's no way to filter tables in the native Confluence, Cloud Confluence application. Um, the last thing I want to talk about is if you don't want to use this basic table, um, you can also use this profile picture macro. And I think you can just go into the canvas here in Confluence and write slash profile picture. And you have to select the user, and I didn't invite anyone into my, my space yet. Um, but the idea here is that you would insert a profile picture when you hit publish, that profile picture will show up. The problem is that you can't look at it in a structured table like this. It's like you kind of like are doing one thing at a time. Like it's all on the canvas one after the other, like you're writing in a Word doc or something. So it's not as neat and tidy as this team table in Confluence. Now let's take a look at how we can build a roster table in Coda. So I'm going to call this team and give it a nice little icon. And the way I'm going to do this, actually, I'm going to copy and paste. Uh, let me just collapse that for now. Let's call this give this a subtitle. I'm going to say this is this is team awesome and what everyone does. And I'm gonna insert a table in Coda. I can just, similar to Confluence, I can start typing table. Tables in Coda are a little more flexible, um, have more um, 
power behind them. You can filter sort as you as you please. Let's call this team roster. And I'm going to do things like, let me see here. I'm going to just look at my notes here. I'll have a picture column, full name, role, and let's take this and call this team. And I'm going to, whoops, let's just go back to our team. I'm going to copy and paste some information I have from another coder doc. And let's paste this right here. And you notice that like I can actually change the column types for these for my tables to I since I have an image here, I can change this to like an image type. And you'll notice these columns are actually grayed out, but we'll get back to the, get back to that in a second. Um, I'm actually gonna create another table in Coda called let's see here, called teams. Let's just create another table. Teams. And I'm actually just going to copy and paste the table from another doc. This might make it a little bit faster. Okay, here we go. So I have this table here I copied from a, another doc. And I have my team name here. I have Slack channel, email list, team members. And what I'm gonna do here is in this, let's just rename this to teams. In this column, I'm gonna say, this is a column type of lookup. I'm gonna look up to that teams table I just copied and pasted over here. And you notice how I can actually click on the drop down to select one teams one, two, three. And let's say I want to add team four here for some reason. There's more teams doing my team, my company. That now becomes an option in the drop down. So this is a really powerful feature in Coda called lookup columns, where you can look up to other tables. They're kind of like VLOOKUPs in a way, um, but as you're changing information in this core table here, this also changes it wherever it's being referenced. And I can also write a formula here that says, um, I wanna basically look at all the team members that fit within each of these teams. So I'm gonna write a formula that says equals team roster dot filter, where the uh, team equals this row. So this team equals this row and then this hit enter. Oh, no, I actually want to change this display column to show the actual values. And now I can see the actual people, team members that belong within each of these teams by writing this formula to look at our team roster page. Um, finally, for the role, I'm going to copy and paste the um, a similar table for my other coder doc. And let's copy this. Let's disable the collapsing. So I have a bunch of roles, and what I'm gonna do is just do this lookup for now, change this table, this column type to be a lookup to the roles. And now you can see that these roles, uh, this, this drop-down menu consists of all of these roles here. I'm just gonna fix this formula right for now. Team roster dot filter, whoops, team roster dot filter, where the, um, role equals this row. Now you can see that now you can see the people related to that are that have these different roles. Now the last thing I'm going to sh do with this team roster, and this is really, I think, what makes building a team roster in Coda really powerful, is I'm going to turn this what looks like a simple table into a card view, and I'm just going to change the layout of this table into cards. And this just makes it a little, a little more user friendly to see who the people are on my team. And you can click on the uh, one of the cards to see more about that person. Maybe you only want to show the team name, but not their product, uh, not their uh, role. So I can click on columns and I can just hide the role just to make the card even more neater. And now I can just look at this table and see an actual team roster like you might see in like a yearbook or something. Um, lastly, there are this um, buttons in Coda and I maybe I want to create a button that allows anyone in my team to add a person to the team hub or the team roster. So add person and this will simply add a row to my team roster 
And let's open the row for editing and give it a nice green button. And so now anyone can go into this page in my team hub, click on add person, and then just type in, you know, Joe Smith. You can add an image for them, select their team here. And then their um, image will eventually show up on this card. And so that's how you can build a more flexible, uh, kind of better looking roster in Coda, I, in my opinion. Um, again, the great thing here is I can filter, let's say, to only show people that are on team one. Um, and you can do that really simply through some of the options for a table. Again, this card layout is really just a table behind the scenes. We have a table here that's filtered down to just team one, but I'm looking at this as cards. I can filter to, let's say, show, let's say, um, people who are only product managers. And I can, of course, also sort by different options. I can sort maybe by, let's say I want to sort by the team, the full name, so I can want to view alf people in alphabetical order. And there are different ways you can basically look at this team roster and visualize it the way that you want to uh, visualize it based on um, what your team likes to see in your team hub. And that's how you can build a team roster in both Confluence and Coda.